what operators allows us to do, it allows us to perform arithmetic operations, comparisons, bitwise, and logical operations. So most of the times you're going to be using arithmetic operators and comparison operators. So you still have the bitwise and logical operators, but basically I often don't use those unless I'm doing something very complex. But for most of the time, you're going to be using the comparison as well as the arithmetic operators. So let's go ahead and learn about the comparisons. So basically, if I go ahead and say select and then you can say select one and now pretty much just type equal and then one. And if you end that with a semicolon and then press enter, you see that you get this column right here. This is what by default Postgres gives you. But don't worry about this for now. But basically you can see that right here, you performed a select one equals one. And this has given you true. So this is the comparison operator. So it allows us to perform comparisons based on um, certain conditions that we want, and then it will either return true or false. So let's go ahead and say one equals to two. And we all know that that's false. So you can see right here, it is false. We can also go ahead and say uh, one is less than two, which is true. And we can say one is less or equal to two, which is also true. But if I was to say one, is um, less or equal or actually let's go ahead and say less than one. This is false. So you can see right here one is not less than one. But if I was to say one is less or equal to one, it is also true. So you can flip the sign. So this is the less. So the way that I always remember these is that the less sign has has the shape of an L. So L for less. So if you want to check whether a number is greater than another, you can simply type the opposite. So greater goes like that. And one is greater or equal to one. It is also true, but one is not greater or equal to two. So you can see right here, this is false. So you've seen equals, you've seen less or equal and greater or equal. So what about if you want to check whether a number is not equal? So we could simply say select and then the not equal is simply this diamond right here. So one is not equal to two. If I press enter, you see that this is true. So let me go ahead and pretty much just type one. So one is not equal to one and this is actually false. So one is equal to one. And you see that I'm using these comparison operators on numbers, but you can also use them on strings, dates, and pretty much any data type. So I could go ahead and say select and then amigos code and then not equal to, and then let's simply type lowercase version amigos code, press enter. And you can see that this is true. They are not equal. But if I was to capitalize the second one, so amigos code and then press enter, you can see that now this is false. So I could also go ahead and pretty much just use the equal and you can see that it's true. If I type a nest down there, it is false. And this is how you use comparison operators. And basically you can use these comparisons operators to filter down your data in the where clause. 